Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is the daily read and it is for February the 12th, Tuesday, Wednesday, February the 12th. <laughs> Wednesday, February the 12th, 2020. And this is for all signs. So I'm going to do it more as uh, messages from spirit reading for today. Um, I've done the spirit messages for March 2020. I've just released those. So I'm kind of using the same decks pretty much to do a daily one for you. Um, just to change things up a little bit for today. <laughs> While I've got all the decks out, I might as well. So, Angel Spirits guides, what is the message people need to hear, please? For Wednesday the 12th of February 2020, please. What is the message people need to hear? Yeah, we have Be Proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved and all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Sometimes we forget how far we come, don't we? Um, you know, when we go through a difficult time, we, we sometimes forget our own resilience, our own capabilities to come to terms with situations, overcome challenges, um, and our own resourcefulness, you know, to bring new growth into our life, new experiences, open up to the new, all of this kind of energy. So I feel for some of you have made inroads in getting to a level of achievement here, um, seeing how far you've come. Okay, Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message for all signs? Okay. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> wow, look at that picture. Isn't that beautiful? And you know, the stag, you see the antlers, they're lit up because it's almost kind of like the light comes from within and it shines the path before the stag. This is light your own path. It is time to light your own path. Understand how far you've come. See your own capabilities, your own resourcefulness. And it's time to light your own path forward now. In your own power, in your own light, all of this kind of energy. Isn't that beautiful? Lovely. Okay. Archangels, what is the message, please, for all signs, for... Wednesday the 12th, thank you. We have relationship harmony. Archangel Regal, we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Now that can be in any form of relationship. You know, it can be a personal relationship, friendship relationship, a work relationship, all of this kind of energy, wider family. I feel some of you are ready to... to Put something behind you, you know? It is that turning point here. I love that picture. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's see what we get with the cards. Angel Spirits Guides, what is the message please for all signs? This is for Wednesday the 12th of February 2020. Wow, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune, lovely. What else do we have, please? Okay, and there's too many cards there. Sorry, there's just too many cards. What else do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides? King of Wands, some power cards here. Okay, I'll take them all. <laughs> We have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, look at this, new beginning. 
Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. It could be a power couple. Let's get another card for the King and Queen of Wands, please. I'm going to take these together. We've got the Three of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Beautiful. And the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords. I mean, you know, let's start here. So the Seven of Swords can be it can be where you might have been deceived, been told lack of truths, lies in your external environment. All was not what it seemed. Things going on beneath the surface. That is the Seven of Swords energy. If it's to do with somebody in your external environment, somebody that wasn't above board with you, you know, there's a, a sneaky, underhanded, you know, action. The, the, this person is stealing these swords stealthily away. You know, there's a stealthness to this. And I feel for some of you that I think you're ready to move on from it, you know. We have so many new beginning cards, so many, a shift card here. Um, I just feel some of you are ready to move on from it. Now, this can also be about self-sabotage. It's a big card of self-sabotage where we hold ourselves back. And that's why you're being told to be proud of what you've accomplished and how far you've come. Because when you realise that, that's how you light the path forward. And I feel for some of you, this is a big turning point. And I'm saying a turning point here because the wheel is turning. You know, there is a positive shift here that's happening. We've got Knight of Swords energy as well. This is a big shift. There is fast progress here. Good fortune, good luck turning in your favour. And it's connected to your destiny, as is the Ace of Pentacles, where you're being given a blessing that is all part of the divine plan. There's a reason why there's a star in the pentacle. And it is because it is a blessing from the universe. And you're told to be open to receive it now. I feel for some of you that there is a big shift coming. It is all part of the divine orchestration. This is very much linked to destiny, divine timing, divine orchestration. There is the potential to build new foundations, you know, um, you know, whether it's to do with career, money, um, could be new love, you know, uh, that you can really build on, you know, all of this kind of energy. Um, I feel for some of you, this is very career focused, you know, a big shift in terms of money and career in particular for some of you. Uh, things are just, obstacles are just being removed when the Wheel of Fortune appears. And the Wheel of Fortune can also be linked with new beginnings too. So we have powerful new beginnings here on both of these cards. Can be linked with money career as well. Powerful message. There could be some opportunity coming your way. Um, yeah. Now, some of you might be starting up your own business venture as well. Uh, that can be this too. If you put in the hard work, you're going to bring success into your life, in material, in your conscious reality. This is a time for building blocks, you know. Um, but it's a real turning point. Um, don't hold back. Don't self-sabotage. You know, the king and queen of wands is the power couple. Uh, this is somebody... Two people who have common goals, common passions, who when they're united, they just spark off each other. You know, they spark each other's passion. Uh, you know, there could be some opportunity. You know, they can also represent some kind of opportunity being offered to you as well. If it's not you or um, you in a couple dynamic, because we've got relationship harmony, I just feel for some of you, Yeah, if there has been some conflict, you know, and these are two fire signs, so we've got Aries and Leo here in particular. Um, if there has been some conflict, it is 
almost kind of like finding the cohesion rather than the spark that separates you it's the spark that unites you um to really have common goals to move forward now i say this is a power couple because these people will excel in terms of money career business all of this kind of thing um they the sky is the limit i mean the king of wands six and sits in the sky as does the queen of wands you can see how low these mountains are below um because the sky is the limit for these energies uh when they really channel you know their abilities and even complement each other in some way that is when they can just really hit the stratosphere in terms of success so i feel for some of you there's real growth there's real success with these energies um big message of, of take the initiative take action this is the spark energy and this is just that sustainable um you know burning energy that just keeps things going you know so i feel between the two there's a real kind of like sustainability whatever this is it can it can really be built on to to move to the next level in terms of money and career in particular for some of you and this is all linked to good luck good fortune you know If you work together in a relationship as well, you know, that can be these energies as well. The Knight of Swords is, is fast progress. You know, there's progress here. When you really channel your energies, when you play to your strengths, can kind of very much the Queen of Wands, play to your strengths, make calculated decisions, choices. Um, follow your passions this is go getting energy um take action all of this kind of thing there is a big shift here there's big progress and i think some of you are getting clarity and you found clarity after going through the seven of swords energy in order to how to move forward and this is the beginnings of celebration and success i feel for some of you that there could be an opportunity to celebrate here some message or communication of an opportunity that could come in very quickly um that allows you to celebrate you could be offered an opportunity as well uh, it could be with a family business and it's leading to this the nine of pentacles you know you getting to the place where you want to be the nines in tarot are the last single digits um in numerology so there's real achievement here there's a level of achievement of success of accomplishment of getting to the place where you want to be certainly on the career front um, this is somebody who understands how to make money and sustain it you see someone who understands how to take action take the initiative and sustain it for the long term bringing solid growth into their lives taking the potential of this and making it this i feel whatever this opportunity is or whatever goal you're working towards this is the first step it is all divinely guided and it is leading you to where you need to be on your destiny very much the nine of pentacles energy venus in virgo yeah now this can also be a good healing energy as well stepping into your light you know recovering from whatever you needed to recover from as well um if you have gone through some ill health this is a very good omen too um but i do feel for some of you the hard work will pay off some of you might be thinking about starting up a business as well you know this can be this this can be good news in terms of loans uh financial you know loan applications mortgages um some good news to do with money uh, having an offer an opportunity given to you all of this kind of energy but it is something that you can build on for the long term that leads you to this so don't self-sabotage don't hold back yeah it's a time you know the clear thinking will bring that positive shift towards celebration success reaping your rewards you know this is the beginnings of, of the three uh, these three people reaping the rewards the harvest is coming in the hard work is paying off yeah all of this kind of energy so very very powerful um 
but this is this is a big card of you know step into your power step into your power focus on your practical abilities nine of pentacles but absolutely step into your power now big turning point a big shift here you know, I'm going to pull a message from heaven, and it is whatever heaven means to you. I just like these cards a lot. <laughs> what do we have? Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so we have the Wheel of Fortune, good luck, divine orchestration, all of this. And we have, we're helping you bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. Yeah. Some of you might have a lucky break here. Might be a lucky break. Much needed, I feel. And it gives you a chance to, to light your own path, yeah. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you.